Obviously, it's a great privilege and honor to be recognized by this organization, which is such an important organization for this community. On a personal level, I'm on the board of United Abolitionists, which is a human trafficking organization, the One Pulse Foundation, which is obviously building the memorial after the One Pulse uh, shooting. I stepped down as the director of the DeVos Sport Management Program last year to focus all my activities on anti-racist work in the wake of the, mur the murders that have taken place starting with George Floyd several years ago. So I'm trying to speak to organizations that I don't normally speak to that might not agree with my perspective. I do about 75 speeches a year and it's usually to organizations that agree with me. Uh, but I want to get in front of audiences that I might be able to influence to, to rethink some of the thoughts that they have. A defining moment for me was um, when I became the leader of the anti-apartheid movement with a sports boycott of South Africa in the 1970s. I had done my doctoral dissertation on how South Africa used sport as part of its foreign policy and the international response. I believe that sport has the power to unite communities in ways that other sectors of the community don't. Uh, so they can play a, an important and dramatic role. Thank you again for this amazing honor. I urge everybody in the audience today and everybody in the community to support United Way with the great work that they do and it's so necessary now more than ever.